Splatoon 3 is dying, Nintendo is making questionable decisions, no new content is being added to the game, and the game is just losing its spark. What happened? Now for those who know me, I don't typically do this type of content, but I feel like I needed to address this situation since it's kind of a thought that's been running in the back of my head and I'm sure all of yours as well. I've lost ideas and I've even myself considered looking for a new franchise to hop onto just because of how dry this game has started to become. To fully understand what has happened, I think we do need to take a deep dive into the game's exigence. So Splatoon, it came out in 2015. Wow, I was in elementary school when this game came out and I had a blast playing it. The game had an interesting concept. It was completely unique as opposed to other games. It would instantly grab your attention just from all the flashing bright colors on the screen. And it was just a thrill to have a new game put right in front of you to enjoy. The game full on was like an experiment in a way. There were a lot of maps that were completely different as opposed to what we have now and certain specials and weapons even felt broken within the game. Although while it felt unfinished, it was just super fun. Black Fest were introduced as a way to compete for your preferred event items, conspiracy or animal. And then we get a second version of the game, Splatoon 2. Maps are slightly changed. They're made a little bit to force players to fight. Splatfest received special maps in order to add content to the game and keep people engaged. Salmon Run, a new game mode, an amazing game mode by the way, totally not biased, is introduced. The first DLC comes out with insanely difficult levels and a thrilling story with deep lore. And now we've made it here to Splatoon 3 where our maps are Tetris pieces, and a lot of content from the game feels like it's been recycled from the previous two games. Of course, besides Big Run, which was a phenomenal idea, and Table Turf. Blackfests feel relatively the same besides the special tri-color concept they tried to do, but that ended up proving to be pretty disastrous, and it felt like it completely messed with the polls, driving the Splatoon community crazy. Turf War and Ranked quickly became boring because they were pretty much just the same thing besides a couple little features added. Challenges were neat until most of them pretty much became ranked or turf war 2.0 and table turf while it was an interesting idea not much of the fan base got into it and it never really became popular and keep all this in mind this was during like the first five months of the game's release Platoon has done almost nothing besides adding these catalogs and extra seasons, which had some cool little details in them, but it never brought the game to its full potential. The game did so well in the beginning because of all the new events and concepts that were being added. For instance, in Splatoon 2 with the Splatfest, they had a bunch of new maps with a bunch of special features added into them to make it more fun. Right now, it just feels like I'm finding ways to stall myself for side order because that's like the only big thing right now that I'm pretty sure people have in the back of their minds. Also, another prominent issue in this game has been the matchmaking and network issues. How many times have you match made with the same person who just doesn't seem like they should be in the rank they are in? And how many times has your network just gone out even though you have a perfect connection? That's happened to me way too many times than I can count. It's almost as if the Splatoon devs just don't care anymore and the spark has just been lost. With the direction the game is heading right now, it honestly gives me some concerns on the second wave of the DLC and how it will turn out. The reason why they're not putting so much effort into the game right now is because they're trying to put all of it into the DLC. However, this has been a problem kind of throughout Splatoon 3 as a whole, where we just keep getting Tetris piece maps and a bunch of just random useless accessories as for updates. We are not getting really anything big out of it. Although perhaps I'm missing something. Maybe there's some big reason as to why we're getting the updates we are now. I don't know. Be sure to let me know your thoughts and opinions down below, and I please ask that you like and subscribe if you found this video entertaining or informative.